I'm joined here by the spin twins of the London spirit, of course, uh, Sarah Glenn and Charlie Dean. And we're trying not to look awkward. You guys, I'm not as flexible as you. Um, but it's really great to have you. Um, first of all, I want to start off with a bit of fun, um, just for our viewers to get to know you a bit. So first question, if you both had to spin a ball for your life, who's going to get the most turn out of you? Who would win? Obviously me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Charlie Dean. You think she would rag it the most? I, absolutely. I didn't want to say it. but Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You've got the most spin. Um, OK, who's the first to start the party and who's the first to leave? I'm the first to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what's, what's the one first to... Who's going to start the party? Yeah, start the party. You're yeah. more likely to start. Sarah loves a party. Yeah, dude, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> you love a party. All right, I'm, I would have been with you. Um, if your coach said there's a 6 a.m. training session, who's like most likely to be keen and be there on time? I 6 a.m. Neither of us. Neither of neither us. Neither of us. No, we're both for late morning. Yeah. Late morning training late morning, session. coffee, brunch, you Are know, you on rolling. time? Yeah, always. We'd be on time, always but... Always professional when we have to But be. with bags under yeah. our eyes, with a grumpy face, <laughs> I reckon. And a coffee in your hand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Well, look, first of all, it's been a great season for you guys. It's going much better than last year. What's been working? Start with you, Sarah. What's been working as well? Um, I think I've just kept it really simple, and I think with, uh, well, with the England girls especially, we've been trying to take kind of have that positive mentality of wicket taking first so mm. and I've kind of just brought that into the 100 into regional cricket and I think that's what's brought my consistency of just kind of having the same mindset really um, and that's it really I've not changed too much technically just more my mindset around it. What about for you Charlie? Yeah I think I think that wicket taking mindset is something that we've, we've worked hard on I think sort of early on maybe in this competition I've maybe been searching a bit um, trying to bowl that perfect ball but then just bringing it back to really simple things bowling at the stumps mixing up pace um, yeah trying to be trying to outwit um, but keeping it simple um, thinking about how we're going to get this batter out and yeah, I think that's that's worked well for us, and I think I really enjoy bowling with Glennie. You know, when you oh, when you got someone, <laughs> someone at the other end who bowls so consistently and well, you know that you've got a banker. So um, yeah, I love bowling in a little partnership. And how does that work? So do you guys share knowledge before the game? Do you share knowledge about each other's form and how you look? Like, give us a bit of an idea of how you guys. Well, we can't. Well, we always have bowlers meeting before, which is more individual. But then we kind of make sure we have discussions on the pitch. Obviously, you got you bowl more in the power play mm. before I come on to bowl. So I go to Dino, going, okay, what's what's happening in here with the pitch? Like, what do I need to do? And then kind of just go from there, really. Um, we kind of and we're starting to do like little check-ins now. Like, so how are we feeling today? Like, what we're thinking? Like, what's the plan? And just so that obviously we have we're very different bowlers, mm. but we can still bowl as a partnership and yeah, just back each other really, and it's really nice. Yeah. How do you find the format? Because obviously, you know, I've watched you guys playing across many different formats now. The hundred's a little bit different. You might bowl ten balls. You, you know, all sorts can happen. How have you found adapting to it? And what's been different? Yeah, I feel like it's fast. You know, um, and I think sometimes we're like, okay, we, we want to rush the batters, but let's not rush ourselves. How do we find that that balance? Um, so yeah, we've been checking in quite often with each other, and it's that's really nice to know that you know you've got you got someone on your side, making sure that you know you're taking the time that you need to to be super clear before you you bowl your first ball. Um, but it is it's so dynamic and 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 it gets you thinking on your toes, and and that's what I love about the hundred. And finally, big game today, obviously down at the Oval. First of all, south of the river. How do you feel about coming south, and how important is today is for you guys? Uh, obviously, yeah, Derby Day is really important for us, um, but also the atmosphere we get here. I know it's a way for us, but we love here, playing here at the Oval. Um, so, yeah, it should be a really good day and hopefully get a win. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for making it look less awkward than it feels <laughs> for me anyway. Uh, brilliant hearing from you and good luck today. Thank you.